enjoyed uh, a lot the exercise yesterday and uh, it was really an interesting journey for me. I had a really hard time with the beginning of the instruction of it. I have to, to sit in front of a man and not whoever I feel attracted to. But I really notice this resistance in me to, to go on something that is given from the outside that yeah. I have the impression okay. I should go in something with sexual energy and I'm not just invited to do anything and first meet the person. Or also that sexual energy should, should happen between men and women mostly. You've answered why I do this. The reason that I give this structure, the way I give it, is so that all of you, any of you, can see your own programs of how you're supposed to engage with other people and become vividly aware of the uh, regulations you've put on yourself, not just about what you must not do, but also about how you must be. There was nothing I said that told you you have to be sexual or even sensual or even in contact. And again, this is a really valuable experience for your everyday life. Because the way you met the people that you met is just the way you could meet men in ordinary everyday life. And how different is it if you're meeting them with this sense that oh, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to be sexual now, even if I'm not... I'm supposed to have this vibe, I'm supposed to be this kind of woman. How different is that from releasing yourself from that program and then meeting him in an unknown where you keep letting go of your preconceptions to discover what happens then? And likewise, usually applying to men, how different is it if you catch your agenda of I want, I want to get sexual with her? which is an incredibly common, almost normal way for men to approach women if they're at all attractive to them. How different is it to catch that enormous program that can run you and run you and run you and to release yourself from it every moment, every breath and have a totally new, fresh adventure of no matter how attractive you as a woman are to me, to release myself from my plans and allow myself the experience of meeting you. You have lots of opportunity to explore this. And of course my invitation to you is not just to explore, but to liberate yourselves from this routine that runs so much of the world. You have to know that you are indoctrinated to behave this way. And you have to be careful to not fool yourself into being the noble Sir Galahad, the knight in shining armour, who is therefore being so gracious in the way he approaches her. And behind his shining armour, he's saying, this is how I'm going to get you. In other words, you have to be careful to really catch the hidden agenda and not just cover it with a more acceptable costume. Because again, the magic is in releasing yourselves from the programs. Then it does become really magical whether your meeting is erotic or platonic or anything in between. Releasing yourselves in order that you can <coughs> be in the magical mystery tour. It's coming to take you away. <laughs> take you away. Take you away. <laughs> We rehearsed this all night. <laughs> no agenda. This podcast is of Alan Lowen talking in one of his Art of Being workshops. You will find full information about the Art of Being at artofbeing.com. Oh, 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 oh.